friends, my name is RagePanda1, and today I'm going to be covering the female Samir. Because one hour ago, I got a comment that said, what do we have to do to get you to get this Samir video out for the female? Uh, except he said it nice-wise instead of like a poop head. Uh, I, I appreciate that people want to help me make videos. And to be honest, I don't know the logistics of uh, doing stuff like I've been offered to log into other people's accounts, for instance. I'm not sure if that's against terms of service. I would really hate to lose this good thing that I got going on just because I tried to make a cool video. I'm sure they wouldn't do that to me, but I, you know what? The, the social media team is uh, not going to be in the office for another nine days. I'm going to run it by them first and make sure they don't mind before I do anything like that. But you know what? Since people have been asking, this one's for you, Caleb. I saw your comment and I thought I better get to work and I waste wasted so many resources <laughs> making this on my free-to-play account, but you know what? I think it's worth it. I'm not sad about it at all. Did a little more summoning. I bought a mite pack for 2,000 diamonds to get a multi-summon out of it. Got some good copies. I even have a couple more. I could go a star higher than what I'm at if I only had the warrior materials. And because I didn't have the warrior materials, man, uh, this card companion has had quite a night. <laughs> he been busy. <laughs> So I wasted like 20 bouquets and like 160 energy potions, but we're here. We did it. We got a seven star level 280 and you might be noticing that I have two healers leveled up. And that's because the reason I'm so excited about these warriors that can do damage guys is that we don't have to run just three damage dealers anymore. We can have our frontline tanks doing damage so that we can have whatever supports we want in the back. Now, I could be running both white eyes. That's never really been viable before. I can run two healers like I am. To be honest with you, Diane, I am hoping for clarification on our female ASN. Let's just bring her up here real quick. If we're going to be talking about her, we should do it to her face instead of behind her back. This passive that just says increases healing by 35%, I'm thinking that that might be just another devout. And if that's the case, then having her with a male Lume on the same team could be pretty bonkers. That's a lot of healing plus an emergency heal. You're making all of his heals better, especially if we're using warriors that have taunts like, I don't know, the male Naga. Then, when we're increasing our fortitude, which by the way, please give me a timer that this lasts for. I know people have said that they know, but how do they know? Unless you data mind it, you don't know. Uh, it says it increases all teammates' defense by 252%. That means fortitude. Fortitude is not the best stat because of ultimates, but while people are taunted, they're only doing basic attack. And also, fortitude is not worth like building traits for, generally speaking, but it's not terrible. Having good fortitude is still good. It's just that there are better things to do with traits generally. Not all the time, but generally. Let's talk about what actually makes this lion lady pretty decent. First of all, I all of the reports that I've heard so far have said that when you mitigate this damage, you actually just completely mitigate 100% of that damage. So if you get hit by a really big ultimate, you just don't take the damage. That's huge in a lot of places. It's a really, really solid passive. Her Captain America shield, it does decent damage, and also it doesn't work anything like it says here. She does not dash after it. She throws it out. It comes back. She does a sweeping slash. So I'll try to get a better look at that. Maybe I'm just seeing it wrong, but what I'm seeing doesn't line up with what that's saying, but it does do a decent amount of damage. It is a little hard to aim, and she's not good in the middle position because of it. Position two for those of you that like numbers. Her ultimate is really the big dance here. It really is the big dance. It does three ticks of damage that do a decent amount of damage, and it increases the damage that these targets take by 20% and prevents them from using an ultimate skill for three seconds. All in all, it's a very good kit. Her damage is not consistent. That's true for a lot of people in the game. Uh, you know, my female Ignis is pretty much always going to do a lot of damage, but for a lot of people in the game, if certain things don't go their way, they just don't do any damage, and she's one of those characters. Uh, my damage has been a lot more consistent on the male. I've done several test battles now, but also some of that comes down to her not getting to alt because everything is already dead sometimes or enough of people are dead where she doesn't really get full 
use out of it because I don't have her traits maxed out. I don't have anybody to marry to her on this free to play account that is still basically in its infancy. But when she does damage, she does a lot of damage. So this person is considerably higher than me and they are doing a very burst heavy squad here. That means I want to kill this female lion stone before she gets to alt if I get the chance to do that. Because of that, you know, sometimes when I click to drag on blue stacks, it just doesn't do the thing and that you know it's a fine so what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to stack the battle over here we're gonna make her go to this far side now ideally this is not how i would set things up I would set the female Ignis on the left so that she's definitely going to be attacking in that direction. And then my female Samir would probably walk forward and it would be fine. But since I'm trying to test the female Samir, I want her line attack to hit in the way that I desire. And so I'm putting her in a way where that's probably going to happen. So everybody's spinning. You can see that's pretty good. One thing that's not good about the combo of the two Samirs is that uh, he pushes them out of her final slash of her active skill which is not the best. But you can see, since I have the two healers here, like, that's why I'm alive. Otherwise, my whole team is dead already. So that's that's why I won that one, is because I had the two healers. And this is just our first battle out the gate. If we look at the enemy team's damage, we can see that their female, Samir, did the most damage on their team, but it's also the highest level person in that entire battle, and that's why it was difficult to kill them in the first place. She is very tanky, so having her be the highest level person since she's tanky and does damage, pretty good idea. In this battle, not comparing to our burst mage, and I would say about half the time she's not comparing to our burst mage, Half the time, she's pretty dang close, and that's a great thing to see. Definitely, we want our succubus to be dead first here, so I think it's fine to just challenge in this orientation again. Now, we see our male Samir pushing, and then she does her shield fling, and it makes it so she doesn't get all of the damage from her thing. So, the unfortunate thing is that the two Samirs don't work that great together if you're trying to group everything up. If we didn't have to worry about that, and the final slash of her attack wasn't a little bit important because it's a guaranteed crit. Oh, I didn't look at the damage. What a noob. Um, that would have been fine then, but I think if you have them on opposite sides, you'll do a lot better, at least at maintaining her damage. So we're going to put her on the opposite side like so. Another thing that's not super great about this is that the male Samir that I have right now is tending to die pretty early. Not my favorite thing ever. And as I play with them both in a group, I'm just thinking that the male is way better the whole time. Come on, female white eyes, you can do it. She tried. Ooh, that was a nice teleport by the male Yiv. We should be able to get this out here. I think that we're going to be good. Yeah, now she's not going to CC me. Now do your active skill, you stupid. Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Not like this. Not like this. Thank you. Good lord. So you can see when we separated them out, it was a lot easier for us to get the damage out of this character. And I guess you could say that's partially a negative on the male Samir. And that is something that you need to be careful of, is that you're not pushing people out of active skills that you want to be hitting. It is fair to say that uh, the female Samir was the last alive there, so she got, she got to pad her numbers a little bit. But I think that what you're seeing here is a pretty good representation of what she can do. On this particular team, I am going to switch these two because I want that female Ugrel alt to be as far away from the rest of my team as possible. And that's just a good thing to look out for. And also, we do want this female Lionstone dead. Preferably before she gets the alt off, but... Not sure if she actually finished it there. It didn't look like she finished it. So, no alt there. She's not going to have that much damage. That's fine. What are you going to do when your female Ignis is stealing all of the attention? So, the other thing that it means that we have these warriors that do damage that can also be your tanks is, aside from just doing two healers, which is fine, but I'm doing two healers on an account where I don't have any of my traits in order, I don't have energetic, brutal, honorable, pretty much nothing on any of my teammates. I don't have devout for the healers. So take that performance with a grain of salt because this is just not tuned well. We're just dealing with 
basic people here. But this also means that you could just have five damage dealers if you wanted to have five damage dealers. If you wanted to have two real tanks and also have a ton of damage boosting, you could do male white eyes, female lion stone, and still have another frontliner so your female lion stone doesn't die before she has the chance to even do her alt. So my verdict is that female Samir is super good. I really like her. Male Samir in my opinion, is still better. The female is less disruptive to your team and easier to fit onto a team and have her perform well. The male is going to have more of a skill gap, and when he's played well, he's going to do more for you. So if you like one and not the other, that's fine. That's your choice. If you want one that's easier, you want the female. You can literally slot her in as a frontliner on any team, and you're going to have a good time. A lot of people are going to be wondering what I would do for traits, and I can tell you that the ones that I have on my character now are not the traits that I would do. These are not a good combination of traits. At this level, a big scrappy like that actually does kind of decent work, but as we said earlier, fortitude ain't the best. If you're going to go for the double heal team you are going for a sustained comp obviously and you would probably want energetic and honorable on this character in that case and i do still think that she's worth having brutal on and in that last slot i might actually put one of the stacking traits or just fierce or even possibly one of the new defensive traits like steadfast that would be a perfectly usable trait setup but i think that the best thing that she does is her ultimate and so i think the standard speedy boy build is going to be the way to go she does a decent amount of damage so brutal is still worth having if you don't want to use her for damage at all you could go ahead and do that and just have energetic honorable agile and focused and you're gonna get a ton of much quicker ultimates especially if your team starts dying so i hope that gives you some idea of the quality of the champion and what you can expect from her i think that the moral of the story is that warriors are back on the menu teams are about to get a lot more interesting and this is great for the game this whole thing, this whole release that's coming out with these guys, with the Naga, with even the Gultungs have added a lot of more interesting things that you can do. So like I said before, I personally like the male better. I like putting in the extra effort and thought into where I'm placing my teammates to get the most effect out of everything. If you don't want to do that, just use the female. It's fine. She's perfectly good does a great job and also great for the game. So this hasn't necessarily been a full guide video, but that will be coming in the future when I find out what kind of format I want for the actual website to have for all of the character guides. Hopefully that covers it for now and everybody has gained a little perspective. If you like some informative takes on this game and yeah, feel like you agree with me on some of the stuff that I say, then go ahead and subscribe and stick around for a while because I like ya. And maybe one of your video requests will happen with Within an hour of the request going down. But for now, I'd like to thank you for watching the video. I have been Rage Panda 1, and I will see you in the next one.